St Helens for the final of the Top Crown Purse Championship for 1986. And here the splendid trophy with a list of truly distinguished winners dating back to 1980 when Noel Burrows won it, partnered by Mike Leach. Bob Hitchens names on it twice, though he won it, of course, with different partners. And this year, despite the very best endeavours of the ladies, the final will again be an all-male affair. Brian Duncan, partnered by Norman Fletcher from Lancashire, they haven't won it before, and they'll be playing Tommy Johnston, partnered by Eddie Hulbert from Manchester. They have won it before in 1984. Can they become the first pair to win it twice? We'll find out with Harry Rigby. Eddie, if you want to know anything, shout out, lads, otherwise I won't go in. OK, good game. Can you shout, Brian, please? As this is. Sorry. Well, Johnson. the toss has been made, and Johnson Tommy really Johnson just, picks yeah. up the jack to set the first mark in this final of the BBC Two Top Crown Trophy. On three apiece, and the game is 21 up. Played one, Duncan. Gets the applause. Tommy Johnson, a little bit strong with his first two balls, left a bit of room, and Duncan stepped in. And now Eddie Hulbert, certainly playing up to the end. Very, very good player, Hulbert. Hulbert's going to be into these. Feels certain he'll play far enough and through. On the bottom side. Can he do it? Hold your head up. Just gone down. Left a pair. With possibly one to come. Disastrous start, really, Duncan for Johnston three. and uh, Hulbert. They win the jack, and they're three down. As well, this is how they started their uh, last semi-final with uh, Arthur Murray and Len Higginbottom. Got a mile at the back, and then all of a sudden caught fire, went mad and run out. Made 17 chalks while Murray and Higgy Bottom were getting three. Shouldn't think, though, Harry, that that's the way they choose to do it. And uh, Brian Duncan off into uh, one of his favourite corners. Tommy Johnston in the yellow pullover following. Improved Tommy Johnston's wood. Encouraging this as it wins if it runs. Well, it'll be an inquest now. And, uh, what is it? Has Brian Duncan decided that uh, they still aren't counting? 
taking this. He's just given Fletcher the news, actually. Fletcher on his way back to pick the other ball up, and Duncan gave him the bad news. We're one down. Eddie Hulbert. I think yeah. Eddie Hulbert one. there, quite happy with one. There's one. Will Thorpe there, the referee from Merseyside. After the first two ends, Duncan and Fletcher were 6-4 to the good. As the 13th end started, Duncan and Fletcher had maintained their lead 14-12. Well, Richard, I think Holbert may be coming over here to go back onto the mark that he played when they beat Murray and um, we'll see if they get in this end where Holbert goes. Got this one to beat, which is a really good ball. Certainly go a long way around the back. Gone out. <laughs> Just got to peg a little bit. This can nearly win it if it stops a dead length. Just gone round the back and out. Good ball. second less if it runs down the hill still got to come a few inches yet oh but fancies the blue woods for two Wanted the right cast there, played at the end, definitely got two now. Fletcher looking to pinch another. Just a little high and wide. Duncan two. Yes, he was unlucky, Tommy Johnston, really. It, uh, it was the right thing to do, but uh, it went wrong. Never possible to predict with any certainty what will happen when you start crashing into them. And the damage is there, Duncan and Fletcher 16 now, Johnston and Hulbert 12. Just wondering whether Eddie Hulbert's left it a bit too long to get on that mark that they played so well. You know, he had a go at the Longans, 
I think because because they got in, it was like a bit misleading to them. I think they might have been better off if they'd have gone straight. Anyway, we shall see. They've still got time. There's only four in the match. Duncan and Fletcher playing quite well within themselves at the moment. 16-12 in front. Last thing stand at the moment. The top crown championship is still defying any pair to win it twice. Holbert and Johnston trying to do that. There's Eddie Holbert. Delighted to become the first one of the first pair to win the BBC Top Crown Trophy. Plus plus the coppers, which come in very handy, and he's played one here. is on a beautiful road just gets round that short ball he could nearly win it oh what a great ball from Fletcher even Eddie Albert joined in the applause there and he didn't expect that ball of his to be licked Well, Johnson's turned his peg round, watching his ball go along there. Oh, just missed it. Gone on the top side. Good ball to play. Just a little bit off the land. Got to try and get that ball out of Fletcher's, and Fletcher's being only trying to play for another here. Just gone round the back and out. Johnson trying to play, he's just adjusted this ball. Right. Sin right. to him. Oh. oh. Duncan won. Right through the gap there, Johnson. How did he not make contact? Leaving Brian Duncan and Norman Fletcher with one. They're on 17. Within grasp of the championship. First pair to 21, remember? The maximum would uh, win it for Duncan and Fletcher. Yes, if they get a pan full at this end, it would be all over and done with for Holbert and Johnston. The dreams of becoming the first pair to win the BBC Top Crown Trophy twice would be gone, at least for the time being. Duncan's led a a live and let live ball there, over a long way. Holbert promptly beats it. With a four inch ball. Four inch off. Sexy, oh, Duncan's trying a bit with this. Just trying a little bit with this. If it falls over, they're clapping, but has it won? Yes, Brian signalled that it had uh, won it. Marvellous bowling. Well, Duncan's is the ball on the right there by the side of the jack. It looks even farther away than the one behind the jack. He's going for another loop, Duncan. He's not sure, and I wouldn't think he is, Arthur. Blue ball. The referee, Will Falk, confirms that the blue ball is on. Johnson playing through fast, hoping to clip into the end. Everybody watching. Who's up the road? Oh, he's made it! What a wonderful ball from Tommy Johnson there. 
Look up to it. One second. Yeah. Yeah. Good chance, honey. Come on, Come on, now. Get down. Get down. Get down. Get down. The man of the moment, Tommy Johnston, with that brilliant first wood. Remarkable first ball from Duncan. Gets select immediately uh, by Holbert, rather, and it's beaten immediately by Duncan. And then Johnston produces an absolute wonder ball to sit it out. And it looks as though he's coming for another, but might be just too far. Johnston won. Just gone. That uh, has effectively stopped the progress, the time being, with Brian Johnson, uh, Brian Duncan, and Norman Fletcher. Yes, yeah, really excellent end that, Richard. Sorry. <laughs> Slight change in tactics now. They're coming up the long dropping mark along the edge of the green. Oh, plenty of room. Well, it looks quite close there in fact it's about two foot six away and here's the new one taxi to the jack beautiful ball there from Duncan but Eddie Hulbert did actually leave him a little bit too much room and he'll have to run to win with this can do it if he gets down the hill can still do it if it runs but it's died just a few inches short Duncan again flying after this. Likes it, likes it, gets round the back. Might even get another. That's Mike would be going to hit him. He's going to hit him, fired at him. Might do the jack. He's done the jack off the green. Nullified the end. Situation was a bit too critical for them there, Richard. No finesse. Bang. Let's start again. Yes, 17, 13 down. Tommy Johnston really didn't want to take any risks. And will be mightily relieved, I imagine, to have uh, shifted the jack from the green. They can play it again. Well, it was very likely easier to, to hit them than to beat them. That's, that's, I think, the decision they arrived at. Again, they've shortened the game down. Still about 28 yards. No more. All but looking to play one or two near balls. Roundabout. Licked it, sat on it, and just pushed it out. Oh, but second ball, can he drop down? Stayed up in the air. Duncan playing the second ball of the end, looking to couple up here. Tommy Johnston oh, flicked it over but has he done enough that's the first no doubt Tommy Johnston being given an awful lot to do again. Played fast. Wants into the end. He's nearly ran the jack again. He's done it again, Johnston. Just opened it out a little bit. It might have given them a little bit too much room to count. 
And Fletcher got to find one. It's labouring this ball. Oh, well, it left him a brace. That was a bad mistake there by Fletcher. Almost certain he wouldn't be short, but he put it down very light. And Johnson then to the rescue yet again. No doubt that Norman Fletcher had been given plenty to aim at. And it must go down as a, a bad mistake. Leaving his opponents with two. And Eddie Hulbert still with the jack. Will it stay on? It won't. And that will go down as a mistake by Eddie Hulbert. Yes, bad and that and all, because they're, they're due for another long ride in the country. Feel searching that Duncan now is going to search out for one of these corners, yes. Yes, he's not going a particularly long way, but they're taking the view that if they can get in in this corner, I think they'll come right back in this other one on the bottom right-hand side, which is a fair trip. Hulbert sent the jack off and Duncan sets the mark and Hulbert plays the oh. first wood. Hulbert now missed the road altogether. Difficult piece of land this. He's nearly in the ditch if he misses the jack. He's rubbed the jack, it saved it. Almost certainly gone in the gutter if he'd have missed the jack. Lucky rub really there for Duncan. He's talking about it being too low. We'll do a dive in a minute, according to the tipsters, but it's come very close. Very nearly won it, that. That's won it. Yeah. Last yeah, the referee, Will Falk, Merseyside man, confirms Holbert's on. Duncan is stealing. Miss it, miss it. Come on, bro. Again, Tommy. Play for one. It's difficult with that wind blowing, isn't it? It is when you play it into it. Yeah. You know, something like this coming down there. Yes. Come again. 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 In the gutter. Two more to go, Tommy Johnston first. <laughs> They're already on, they want to double here to level the match. Still on down, Norman. Will we turn it far through? Can you not glue it up there now? Oh, he's done the jack clean. He might not win the end. Might have left a double. One ready. Well, some debate about how many. Consults with the players. The referee says one, and that makes it tight. This is good, Eddie, please. Thank you. Again, Eddie Holbert now fiddling his way around the green, picking these little marks, 28 yards, 30 yards. Playing them close. Duncan over. Over it again. Looking for nice control. He watched the ball start swooping down a minute. Yeah, right hand down. Up to the jack. Played another one. Again, the bias. Finger peg. Down the hill. Run again hard.
Asking it to go, it touches the back poles, he could alter it. Gotta come down, gotta run. Norman back on the mat just ask somebody in the crowd there with the fancy having a go with his last ball could win the top crown trophy if he hit him right but nope. he's bowled at the end always oh, in the wrong side one down Brian Johnston won And that means that it's all square now. Johnston and Hulbert have chipped away manfully, 17 across, and set for the big finish. <laughs> Hulbert now took the captain's job, just trying to fiddle his way. He knows he's playing it, a bit of a dangerous game here. He's got to play them close because if Duncan gets in in this corner, Richard, he's going to whiz him straight across the green to try and get out at a distance. Won it. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. And again. Eddie Holbert confirms that they've won. Tommy Johnston there. Oh, the crowd tipping it short, but it kept going. I won off it. Oh, but asking Johnson now to throw one at these and see if he can split the end. Smacked the jack a few times. Oh, missed a lot. Very disappointed there, Tommy Johnston. Up to now, been pretty accurate. Always smacked the jack off. But now they're in a bit of trouble. Right, 17 across. Critical stage of the game now. Duncan, I believe, lies two on. And Fletcher. And Duncan Score. having a bit of a powwow. Score, please. 17, 17 across. across. 17 and up, this eye. Yeah. I think in some way, I think uh, Norman Fletcher was probably advised to play up and try and make it three. Which is what he's tried to do. Duncan two. Yeah, just the two. Two. Oh, 
Well, Brian Duncan and Norman Fletcher. Within sight now of uh, lifting that top crown trophy for the first time. But well, no margin whatsoever for error. Well, he's left. Holbert's a bit of room here. Might be able to retrieve the situation here, Eddie Holbert. He's batting a bit, go past the jack. Almost run out. It's gone. A little bit of pressure coming on now, Richard. A few real pressure balls now to just saw this title up for Duncan and Fletcher. Can hold but find one here. He took a chance in going into that corner where they're coming from and Duncan, as soon as they got in, came down here. Can he miss that short ball? Cast stop it and one. Got a good break there, Holbert. Short. Short. Duncan trying to wave this one in, but it's woefully short. Two and a half yard. Oh, that was a good ball coming in, missing. It was a good ball, isn't it? Certainly. Yes, yeah. Johnston. Chance missing. Pegs inside this ball. It's nearly won it. Dead level. Good ball. He shot. Oh, a bad ball. Now that the yellow men here have a chance to level the match. Certainly got one. They're trailing 17-19 at the moment. Could it be that Duncan and Fletcher are just getting a little bit rattled? The nerves have got to them. I think Brian Duncan was annoyed with the collision he had earlier on there. Got to run. Got to run hard. Just died. Yellow two. Sorry. Well... Measure, please. Well, Eddie Hulbert's a pretty good judge. Okay. Maybe that there's not very much in those remaining woods. They've already taken two these out. Two, actually, these two. <laughs> yep. Yes. They've just come off the blue ball onto the yellow. Tighten up on this one, please. Oh, it's close, this. Asking for a remeasure. Just tighten the string a bit now. But they come back, they may sneak another here. Could be a dead heat. Touch there. Take it back on the other one, please, yeah. Yeah, not happy. These not happy. They're very close. I think it may be declared a dead heat. I can't separate them, Eddie. Sorry, I can't separate them. Ah. Touching both both balls at him. Sorry. Well, you probably heard there the uh, apologies from the referee to Eddie Hulbert that uh, he couldn't say that any one was closer than the other. Johnston one, sorry two. And, uh, the duration of the measure Sorry, has uh, distracted the referee a little bit, <laughs> crediting Hulbert and Johnson with only one when they should get two. So it's 19 across. Remember, it's the first pair to 21 who take the top crown championship for 1986. Andy Hulbert's put a lot of distance in that. Oh, oh no. A mistake at this stage, 19 apiece. Eddie Hulbert, great tactician at this game, Eddie, and just trying to find the edge of the green goes too far. I think he was still thinking, Harry, about that third that he didn't get at the last end. Yeah, the one that got away. <laughs> the dead heat. You just get your stake money back, that's all.
Oh, he's had a bit of trouble going into this corner at that peg. Duncan's picked the right mark here. He thinks they could well get out here. Be a very costly mistake by Eddie Holbert to send the jack in the pits and let Junk Duncan pick his own land. He's gone a bit over though. Holbert can just retrieve the situation here. Looks nicely on. Good pace. Played one this time. Yes, found the gutter. That's one. Two required by either side. <laughs> oh, a mile away. It's not a mile away, this. This is a real one for me. Won it. Won the other way. to try and play a real winner here Johnson one of his old favourites but he's narrowed and in the bottom dived away whipped down that'll nearly go up the green he's just stuck it but short say the spectators See the difference in the time. Measure, Richard, if uh, Holbert counts one here, would have got the verdict there on the measure. It would have been all over. How oh, then? Oh, he's hooking again. Away again to the right. Norman Fletcher still one to play. Going to... Uh, have a conference with his partner. There's Norman Fletcher on his way back. Duncan, no doubt, asked him to play up. He just touches the jack. About six, ten inches. Could be all over. Asking him to find one. On its way, on its way, beautiful road, beautiful road, it's run into the short ball and died. And nevertheless, one to Brian Duncan and Norman Fletcher, puts them within one chalk of the championship. Tommy Johnson and Eddie Hulbert need two. bit overplayed one wandering a bit past the jack he's nearly four foot by long swinging mark this out of the corners oh. 40 yards he's got to run on this is a good ball for me it's a reel in this right up to the jack good ball one of the two that Tolbert and Johnston need problems building up now for Duncan and Fletcher Unless Duncan can find a real one here. Running down, bit of a chance, but it's now kicking away. Stops Don't dead, it wins. A good ball. Great reply there. Duncan and Fletcher, lie game and championship. Remarkable, Richard. They've licked each other good balls. A tremendous finish. Duncan really found one there. And there here's Eddie Holbert. All to do again. Beautiful road, he might just be a little bit tight unless he can check back. Good ball, but for nothing. Still Duncan and Fletcher. With the one they need for the championship. Going to have a meeting in the middle of the green.
Well, a two remarkable balls played. Norman Fletcher back on the mat now. Had to come down the hill a bit there. Give me some sort of a chance this ball if it runs down. Oh, a good second. Well, the advice from Eddie Holbert to his partner was, have a go, Tommy. Well, they've got two very, very good balls to lick. It's a difficult situation. He wants him to hit him. Hope to get the jack. Two opportunities for Tommy Johnson to do that. Got to do it, Johnson. Tommy Johnston played up. He's decided to play. Oh, it's begging hard. Gets a lick off that ball. Oh. Only played at him. Well, this is developing into an end that is worthy of deciding the championship. All the bowlers going for a conference now. Yeah. That's the score, 19 Johnson and Holbert, 20 Duncan and Fletcher. Duncan and Fletcher have the one at the moment as it stands that they need. And the options are running out now for Johnson and Holbert. Well, they're all arriving now. As the winner on the left of the jack. Blue ball belonging to Duncan and Fletcher. But they were taking part in the discussions at that end. They'd love it. No doubt have some alternatives to bring up. Norman Fletcher to play first. <laughs> on its way beautiful road if he had the pace he's played one just in the road a little bit well this is it Tommy Johnston realising the importance of the occasion taking his time waiting for the wind to drop this to save the championship. There he is, still waiting for the wind. There's the wind you now fiercely, and Johnston stepping off the mat doesn't want to be put off here. This is the one that decides. <laughs> and everything that's gone before just counts it. for nothing. Just watch here for line and road. He's played the swinging peg to it. Oh, he's gone a mile away. It's gone now. It's weighed in. Shake hands. It's all over. Duncan won. Fletcher and Duncan won a really tremendous match beating Tommy Johnston and Eddie Hulbert from Greater Manchester County 21-19. Can we ask Lady Pilkington to present the prizes first to the runners-up Tommy Johnston and Eddie, uh, Eddie Hulbert. Lady Pilkington first of all presents the Prizes to the runners-up, Tommy Johnston, Eddie Hulbert, who of course won this championship back in 1984. Narrowly failing to become the first pair to win it twice. The winners, Ryan Duncan and Norman Fletcher. And the delighted couple, the boys in blue, Brian Duncan, Norman Fletcher, first-time winners of the Top Down Trophy. Their replicas and uh, each player 
Now a thousand pounds better off. So, in 1986, new names on the top crown trophy. The names of a pair that too many consider to be the best in crown green bowling, Brian Duncan and Norman Fletcher of Lancashire. It's yes, very well deserved applause, Brian Norman. Uh, what took you so long? <laughs> I think it was Eddie Ulbert and Tommy Johnson actually. They, they, they've been a very good game and just luckily we've just scraped home at the finish. Very nice. But uh, it is a, a point of some controversy that you've never won the top crown trophy before until this year. You must have been thinking about that. Well we have done really, yeah. There was some controversy once when we lost it actually. <laughs> but uh, it's just very nice to win. It's one we wanted to win for a long time. and. When you get to the final, I mean, when we come to 18 and 19 apiece, I thought we'd go again like that. Anyway, we've just managed it today. Yes, that's what I meant, the controversial final that you were involved in. Uh, I suppose this makes up for it, does it? Well, not really. We've won it twice now, haven't we? But it's just one of those things. Lots of grand, isn't it? <laughs> Norman, it was a very hard final. It was a hard-fought one, wasn't it? Well, there was our matches. Tommy and um, Eddie Olmert are very good players. And look at me. I hope we win it again next year anyway, so playing Tommy in final. <laughs> I must admit that, uh, that that last end had us all standing on our feet and standing on our tiptoes. There was a lot of talking going on. What were you saying? Oh, I didn't <laughs> Drag her another really. <laughs> <laughs> I hope he doesn't lick it. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you were watching fairly closely what Tommy Johnston was doing with the last wood. Well, I was just trying to work what he would do with it really. I was uh, just thinking if he hit the block like he would probably knock it to the balls at the back. but. Uh, we well, won a foot off at 2019, if he beats it, well, good luck to him. But no chance? Not that it happened. It had a chance coming, but it just narrowed out and that was it. Gentlemen, well done. Congratulations. Thanks for the entertainment. Thank you. And that's it for Top Crown for 1986. I do hope that you've enjoyed the series. From St Helens, good night.